So I'm out working on a city multi-system. I had a service call for no air conditioning. Um, this is just a commercial site that really relies on the cooling to basically run the, the stuff that they're building inside. Uh, they have to keep it all regulated at a certain temperature. Um, so I came out here um, and I basically pulled these panels off. All three of these are twinned together. Um, and every single one I was shown error code 7102, uh, which is usually like a communication or, um, yeah, basically a communication or it's basically either lost or gained um, a unit and stuff like that is kind of what, what the fault code definition was for it. Um, so I kind of went through everything and I was supposed to have on this uh, TB3 terminal here between these two terminals, I'm supposed to have like 29 volts uh, DC and I was getting zero on every single one of them so none of them were getting picked up by the system I tied into this system with my maintenance tool and all three of these outdoor units weren't being picked up but I could pick up the indoor units um, so I just thought it was kind of weird um, talked to tech support a little bit and they gave me some ideas and we were kind of going back and forth and I tried doing basically disconnecting everything off the TB3s and seeing if I had voltage on any of them. Um, I did pick up, um, when I pulled the wire off of all of them, I picked up voltage off of the middle one. Um, and that's usually all you're supposed to do when they're twinned together like that. There's only be one that's the main power source. So that kind of sounded good and, and basically they were kind of thinking it might have been control wiring issue. Um, so I power cycled everything off. Um, tech support had me wipe, basically, so that they weren't identified with anything, and then re kind of booted them up to see if they all had power, just to make sure it wasn't like a board or anything like that. So I power cycled. I went through the the process of kind of wiping the slate on these, um, so they weren't trying to pick up, and uh, basically, so none of them were taking like the master spot. They basically, when I powered it back up, none of them knew that they were being jumpered yet because I had all the jumpers on TB3 disconnected on all these. Um, so I had the 29 volts on all three of them when I did it that way, without having any control wire hooked up on the TB3 terminal. So that kind of showed me right there that my boards were all good on all um, on all three of these. Um, so there, I basically started to I found my wire that was going inside that goes to TV3 and I started by hooking that up first um, so I just had the one wire going to TB3 um, on that terminal and I still was good still had my 29 volts DC uh, so then I basically rehooked back up my wireless jumpers um, essentially all these are doing is jumping between the two the different units so I took the one that goes from this unit and it tied over and went into here and I still had 29 volts DC. So now I had 29 volts here and here because it um, it obviously passed the power through. So I knew my wiring between these, all of these points were good at this point. So then lastly, um, kind of that process of elimination, I hooked up this middle unit to this far end down here on my, uh, TB3, which is it was it was these wires. Uh, clearly, I've already kind of done all my leg work on this, so I could actually explain what I got going on. Um, so I got these wires here. I hooked up, and then instantly I lost my voltage here. I had no voltage. My 29 volts DC was gone on just this one, but I still had it on these two. So. I kind of was like, okay, that's kind of telling me that something's going on with my wiring between the two. And honestly, at the time, I didn't think there's anything that could be going on. So tech support wanted me to just kind of do a quick temporary, uh, I know it's not stranded or shielded or anything, but just a quick temporary test with normal thermostat wire between the two. As you can see, it's just all exposed and hanging out. But they just wanted me to see if I would get my voltage, my 29 volts. Uh, DC on the TB3 terminal here with thermostat wires. So I pulled off the, the old one on both sides over there and over here and I ran this new wire and sure enough I got the 29 volts DC 
with the new wire, but not my old wire. So that clearly told me that something was going on. So I was really starting to wonder like, what the heck is going on? Uh, at the time I had this metal, you can kind of see it down here, this metal shroud going over all my line set and wire. Um, so I kind of just started poking around, um, pulling my wires apart. I kind of looked in here, making sure nothing was rubbing. And then I just kind of started tracing it, running my hand along the wire. And as you can see, the wire it looks like what happened when these people ran it, it got snagged. You can kind of almost see all these little snags. And I think what's happening is it's sitting in all these wet leaves um, up in the Pacific Northwest. And it just, it rains a, a lot. So I had, you know, wire being exposed in wet leaves. So it's holding that moisture around it. And uh, eventually it just rotted out this wire. So this wire is completely rotted out now. I mean, it's pretty bad when you actually kind of get closer. Uh, I'm surprised this thing was even working as long as it was. So um, what I'm gonna do, since I don't stock stranded shielded wire on my truck, um, just to get them over overnight until I can pick up the, the correct wire, I gotta order it and pick it up. Um, I am going to basically run my this little normal thermostat wire um, and jumper between the two. That way they, these people have cooling um, through the night. Um, like I said, it's, it's really critical for them on what they are building inside. Um, so that is basically where I'm at right now. Um, it was just a communication error between the two. I actually, to be honest, did not think that was what it was going to be. I thought it was a board or something the whole time in my head. Uh, and tech support was pretty adamant. They thought it was going to be control wiring. So, um, and another thing like this system, if it was like brand new installed or something, it could have been like an address uh, addressing issue or something like that. But this thing's been in here for like five years. Um, so yeah, that is basically what that 7102 fault code, um, basically led me to that I was getting on this outdoor board. And what's funny is when I hooked up my maintenance tool with my laptop, um, it, I was getting no voltage on this originally on any of them because the thing had faulted out. Um, so it wasn't giving me any voltage to even tie into the system to even do like going through the maintenance tool, uh, malfunction log. Um, cause I usually will tie in with my laptop and then just, uh, this, this is the older version, but the CMS MNG E. So, I mean, this is definitely the, the old the old school one. We have one of the newer ones too, but that's just one that I have on my truck all the time, just in case. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, yeah, that's basically what I came up with. Um, like I said, I'm gonna do this temporary thermostat wire overnight. I'll come back and run a new wire. And now that I've kind of seen that wire all burred up, I'm going to check all my jumpers in between these on the outdoor unit. Um, like I said, it was, <laughs> Borderline, I thought possibly rodent, but I really do think it was just like a crappy piece of wire that like someone just ran up against a sharp metal edge and it just was like nicking the wire all the way down. Um, but I mean, obviously a, a rodent thing is always to watch for something like that too with the heat that, you know, the boards and the electronics put off, obviously it attracts rodents and then having all these leaves. I mean, that's kind of a per perfect recipe for um, making nests and stuff like that. So I'll probably clean up these leaves as well uh, just so one it's not holding moisture around everything in here and two just so it doesn't attract rodents um, but yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't uh, please subscribe thank you for watching and uh,